Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. I really hope you've all been really, really well. Um, today's video is going to be my top five books of the month. This is something that I'm planning to do every month because I do read an awful lot and I do regularly go through five books a month. So um, I'm just going to jump straight in and my top five books of this month in no particular order. The first one um, that I read quite recently was The Exorcist by Peter William Blatty. I have wanted to read that book for a very, very long time. Um, it's an old book. It is most definitely an old book. It was written in sort of the late 70s, I believe. Obviously, it was turned into the very world famous film. However, the book is so, so, so much better. I read it in a few days. It was a really, really excellent book and um, very, very well written. I do think it's pretty much the only book he bought out, which is quite unusual because I would expect him to have bought out more, being he is actually a very fantastic writer. And um, yeah, so that's the first one that I wanted to talk about. Um, the next one is sort of more of a fiction book, I guess, and it's called Toddler Taming by Dr. Christopher Green. Dr. Christopher Green was the person who invented the, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now, the timeout method. Um, he did actually invent the timeout method for children and um, my mum actually bought me this book um, just as a joke because it looked really funny and I was reading it and whilst yes it is quite a humorous book I suppose it does actually include a lot of really really helpful tips for bringing up a toddler. The one thing that I took away from it, I have a two and a half year old and he's now hitting the point where he's actually becoming quite difficult to cope with at times and reading that book really really helped me to understand that a lot of his tantrums are out of frustration he's not doing it to be annoying he is frustrated out or he's bored or something like that and to look at toddlers like they are little humans which is what they are they have loves they have dislikes like adults do and they want the same things that adults do they want attention they want um interaction they want um they want to do things, they don't like being bored, certain things will make them bored and other things won't, and this is when the tantrums happen, so it was really, really helpful. I would definitely recommend it to all mums out there who are starting to struggle to cope with the toddlerdom, because it is a tricky time in raising a child. Toddlerdom is one of the worst times, I've so I've heard, um, and I can wholly agree it's been the most difficult point up until now, and yeah um definitely definitely worth taking a look um i will leave all of the books linked down below and where you can buy them so definitely give it a look okay the next one is um a book called the butterfly box it's by a writer called santa montefiore she is an italian cuban i believe um and her books are absolutely amazing i've read a couple of them but that one in particular just called to me it's a really really fantastic book um I love anything based in Italy or written by Italian writers. I don't know why. I just really, really like them. And she is such an awesome writer. She writes so well. She's so descriptive. And the books really, really take you away from your everyday life. It's a really fantastic book to read. I will say, though, her books are quite tricky to read. So I wouldn't read them if you're after something sort of light and a little bit easier to read. It's definitely something that you need to concentrate on. So if you're a nighttime reader like I am, I wouldn't recommend reading it at night because you will wake yourself up, basically. OK, and number four that I wanted to mention is Making Faces by Kevin Aquan. It's a book that I recently got and I read through it. And it really, as a makeup lover and somebody who really enjoys makeup and really wants to get into it as a career, it really helped me to understand how faces work and how makeup applied to the face should work and things like that it's all well and good getting it from youtube tutorials or teaching yourself but having a professional and an expert really tell you how these things work and how makeup should be applied to the face can really really help it really really helped me to understand not necessarily makeup application but how people's faces work and the different types of faces and the different types of skin etc etc now I would love to do special effects so that that probably wouldn't appeal to me too much but it did really help in understanding the structure of people's faces and how they work and all of that sort of stuff it's a really really informative book it's really helpful if you are a makeup lover like myself or you know Kevin Aquan is one of the most well-known makeup artists in the world it is unfortunate that he is now no longer with us but 
he is one of the most well-known makeup artists in the whole world. He has a makeup line, etc., etc. And to hear that all from an expert really is helpful. So if you are looking to find a makeup information book, definitely give that one a try. It's a really excellent book. Okay, and last on my list of top five books that I've read this month is a book called The Lollipop Shoes by Joanne Harris, and it's part of a trilogy. Um, it's the last book in the trilogy. I have read the other two, but if you haven't, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it is part of the Chocolat trilogy, which I'm sure everybody has heard of the book or at least the film Chocolat. Well, there are three books in the series. There is Chocolat, Peaches for Monsieur Le Cure, and uh, The Lollipop Shoes. And they're really fantastic books. I've read a lot of Joanne Harris's books. I'm a collector of her books and I absolutely adore them. They're really, really fabulous. And again, they are quite tricky to follow um, because they sort of jump between characters. It's one of those ones where one chapter will be about one character and written from their point of view. And then the next one will be written by another character and written from their point of view. So it's quite, um, there is a lot of jumping about. You kind of have to really pay attention um, but she is such a fabulous writer. She can write about anything, anywhere, and about anyone. She's absolutely amazing. She's got such good imagination. She's so descriptive. It really, really feels like, for example, in The Lollipop Shoes, it's set in Montmartre, which is um, where the Moulin Rouge used to be in Paris, and you really, really, really feel like you're there. You really feel like if you look out your window, you could see the Sacre Coeur or the Moulin Rouge. You could see all of that sorts of things. And it's the same in her other two books. Um, you, you know, in the first one where she was a chocolatier in a small rural French village, really, really, really feel like you're there. And in the second one where she's in the same village, but um, it, there's been an influx of... Um, sort of Muslims and people from that area and you really feel like you're living in a town that was once very sort of strict and very prudent and very uh, and then there's these influx of different people that they're not used to and you know there was one point when I was reading this book where I could almost smell like Moroccan spices I could smell like a tagine cooking or she's uh, she's a really invocative writer she really really makes you feel like you're there and it's definitely worth it the f the books are amazing the film is amazing and a lot of people don't know that joanne harris has actually written an awful lot of books and some of her books are quite dark i would say that this one is probably quite a, a, more on the dark side it's not dark dark but it's definitely more on the dark side and um it includes magic and sort of witchcraft and all of these kinds of things, but in a modern day setting, which is very unusual, and it's got love behind it, and there's murder, and there's, you know, criminal activity, and all of this kind of stuff. It's a really, really fantastic book. I would definitely give it a go. And I would also read any of Joanne Harris's books because she is an amazing author. Same as everybody else on this list is an amazing author. And um, that is it for this week's, this month's sort of book club, I guess, of my top five books um i really really hope you've enjoyed it uh, please let me know what books you've been reading this month because i'd really really love to know and i will see you next month well i will see you next week for more videos but i will see you at my little book club next month um please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that would really really help me out and also if you want to see more of me please press the big red subscribe button i would love it so much if you did and also um to let yourself know when any of my videos have been uploaded, please press the bell, the dinger, it's down there somewhere, the little bell to let you know when I've uploaded. And I will see you all very, very soon. I love you all very much. Bye bye.